click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we'll discuss the concept of proprietary ratio that is one of the important balance sheet ratio used by management to understand long term solvency let us get through the concept proprietary ratio meaning proprietary ratio compares proprietor's fund with the total liabilities or total assets it is usually expressed in the form of percentage it is also known as net worth to total assets ratio equity ratio net worth ratio or asset backing ratio these are the various names which are used for proprietary ratio formula proprietary ratio proprietor's fund or shareholders equity divided by total assets or total liabilities multiplied by 100 its components are proprietor's fund include paid up equity share capital reserves and surplus including capital reserve revenue reserve profit and loss account credit balance less accumulated losses that is profit and loss account debit balance that is fictitious assets are deducted like miscellaneous expenditure not written off paid up preference share capital thus proprietor's fund is equity share capital plus reserves and surplus plus preference share capital or equity shareholders fund plus preference share capital total assets we are required to consider fixed assets plus long term investment plus current assets or total liabilities that is own funds plus loans plus current liabilities proprietary ratio is a solvency ratio which indicates the long term solvency the extent of funds invested by the owners in relation to total funds employed in business that is capitalization actual ratio interpretation and comments actual ratio actual proprietary ratio is expressed as x percentage indicate that x percentage of total assets are financed by owners fund for example a proprietary ratio 70% indicates that out of total assets 70% of the assets are backed by owners fund and balance 30% of the assets are backed by borrowed fund actual ratio close to standard that is 65% a proprietary ratio of 65% is regarded as standard ratio if actual ratio is close to 65% it indicates a good long term solvency position as own funds being a permanent source of finance which are used to finance the permanent fixed assets of business like land building premises machineries furniture etc and a proper balance between own funds and borrowed funds actual ratio higher than the standard if actual proprietary ratio is much higher than 65% it indicates a very good long term solvency position as own funds are much more than borrowed funds but over dependence on own funds is indicated actual ratio lower than the standard if actual ratio is much less than 65% it indicates unsatisfactory long term solvency position as own funds are less than the borrowed fund and less dependence on own funds interaction with the other ratios this ratio should be studied with debt equity ratio to study the capital structure with current and liquid ratio to comment on long term and short term solvency of the business let us consider proprietary ratio with small example from the following information calculate proprietary ratio of a limited equity share capital preference share capital reserves these will be part of proprietor's fund current asset fixed asset 
this will be part of total assets let us first calculate proprietors fund equity share capital 130000 plus reserves 20000 plus preference share capital 50000 so we have proprietors fund 2 lakhs Total assets is equal to fixed asset plus current assets. Fixed assets 2 lakhs, current asset 1 lakh, total is 3 lakhs. Proprietary ratio is equal to Proprietors fund divided by total assets multiplied by 100. Proprietors fund 2 lakhs. Total assets 3 lakhs. Multiplied by 100. So it is 66.67 percent. Here proprietary ratio is better than standard 65%. We have discussed here how to calculate proprietary ratio, its various components, formulas. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.